Hi, this is uh, James from Jimmerish FM. I'm just uh, making you guys a little video just to help you um, get to grips with podcasts, just in case you don't already use them regularly. Um, so basically, Jimmerish um, FM is a podcast service, and podcasts are kind of like a uh, vi- sort of like radio on demand that you can uh, download and uh, listen to and keep them um, um, as you like. So uh, obviously you guys probably know this, but we can, uh, what you need is uh, a browser like Safari or Firefox, and you need um, iTunes, um, which is a digital media jukebox, um, to uh, help organize your um, uh, podcasts and sync them to your iPod or your iPhone or something like that. Um, obviously you can... Um, there are various other um, podcast software catches out there, but um, iTunes is pretty much the simplest way to go, and it's free um, to get. Um, if you don't already have iTunes, um, try going to Google and typing iTunes download. You can go here. The top result is pretty much the page you want to go. Um, so... Um, this is the page you get, and iTunes is free. It's just like a music um, organization software, basically. And uh, to download it, um, the page usually detects what kind of computer you are. See, so I've detected I'm running Leopard, so there we go. If you're on Windows, it should detect it's running Windows, and it'll download the Windows version. Um, but you probably want to untick these just so you don't get annoying emails, and then click Download Now. Um, the download. Uh, begins and once it's downloaded, you can install the um, the product as you will. Um, to get to Jimmerish, um, you can either, of course, Google Jimmerish FM and find the site. And uh, there we go, second link. Um, you can go straight to Jimmerish if you like and um, select the link. On the right here, Jimmerish FM. Boom. I mean, you should already know this if you're watching this video, but just in case you don't. Uh, so basically, this is the Jimmerish FM webpage. Um, the best way to enjoy Jimmerish FM is to actually subscribe to our podcast feed, um, and that um, sends out a signal to a file to iTunes that enables iTunes to automatically download new episodes when they become available. Like I said, it's quite a nifty service. Um, you can, if you want, get just click this link and it'll either open in whatever program you've designated or it'll download, depending on what kind of setup you have. Um, but in I, I, uh, Safari, the quickest way to get going is to click, go up here to shortcuts and it says subscribe via iTunes. So let's click on that and see what happens. It opens iTunes and uh, it finds Jimrish FM the feed and it starts downloading. You can see it just down here. It's downloaded the latest episode. So we go back up to podcasts. If you like to see more info about podcasts, switch the view to like a list view. I find that the best. And you drill down and you can see that what the episodes are available. So there's three episodes valid. It's already downloaded the most recent one. But if you like to get the old ones, you can just click get. Like so. Now in uh, iTunes, you can see them downloading just down here in your downloads folder. And uh, into iTunes, you have various settings. This is your podcast window. Um, just uh, the setting the buttons just down here. And um, you can tell it if you would like to check how often you want to check for new episodes because what happens is um, when we put out a new episode, we put it out on the internet and um, iTunes goes out and checks. So if you just want pretty much uh, to check for new episodes whenever like you can go every hour or every day and it pretty much you know will check whenever it, for new episodes whenever you open the program um, each day um, or if you have like a uh, like a bandwidth limit that you're trying to stick to you can go manually um, but that's I'll show you how to do manually in a second but uh, let's go say just set it at every day and you can set these this setting specifically for all podcasts or just Jimmerish FM or whatever podcasts you can you can set these for. 
um, and these are instru- basic instructions. When new episodes are available, um, download the most recent one or download all. So if there's like two new episodes, you can just download all and it'll download all new episodes or you can just go download the most recent one if you just want the most recent. Um, and episodes to keep is also um, quite a handy little tool. Um, basically, once you listen to a postcard, it'll stay on your computer unless you have this setting here. So um, what it will do if you say select episodes keep all unplayed episodes is once you finish playing an episode of a podcast it'll delete the um, file and it keeps space or um, you know if you want to keep it around just for a while you could perhaps select last three episodes and it'll keep the most three or it'll keep the most keep the three most recent episodes um, on your computer and after that it will download it will delete the start deleting the old one older ones after that um, which is quite handy, so I'll set that, thanks, and click OK. Um, on the other hand, if you select manually, um, what you have to do is whenever you open iTunes, if you want more episodes, you have to open iTunes, go to your podcast window, and click Refresh, and it will check for new episodes. Obviously, we have just updated. If you don't choose to organize the podcast um, with this service, but... Um, you would like to uh, delete a specific episode after you listen to it, just select it and h- click the delete key and it'll ask, would you like to remove it? Yes, and would you like to remove it? This is trash. And this is on a Mac, of course, but uh, it's pretty simple as that. It goes to trash. The next time you empty trash, it's gone. Uh, to play the episodes, it's pretty simple. Just go select the episode you want to get. See the blue little dot here? That indicates it's been unplayed. So once you start playing it, that blue dot will disappear. Um, but you just double click and you're um, you know, now playing the episode. If you go down here, you can click this button and you can see the episode artwork, um, which we actually update at various stages so you can see things. So in this episode of Jamaican Chef, and we're interviewing someone, so if we go in further, once we introduce that person, a picture of them comes up, which is quite cool. So if you want to see some of the stuff that's going on, even though it's an audio thing, if you've got an iPod or iTunes, you can it will show a little picture. And sometimes at the end, we put the link to the website just there. You can just click it, boom, and it'll open Jimmy Chef web, so website. What it will generally do is remember the space where you've left off. So at the moment, we're 9.35. If we go up to the music and start playing a song, and then we listen to the song, and that's fun, and then we come back to uh, podcasts. If we double-click this, it'll remember that back to where we were left off so it's quite handy it's kind of like an audiobook like that way so you can stop your podcast and go do something else and come back and it um, it'll remember where you left off if you want more information the episode click the i button over here there you go now if you want other podcasts you know if you're just getting excited about podcasts click, check out the podcast directory on the iTunes store this podcast directory is just a whole directory of um, free podcasts that you can sub- um, subscribe to there's heaps of different things. There's lots of stuff from the ABC. Um, you can check out these various providers and Triple J do a heap and look at the categories. There's all these different, you know, you can go through all the different categories and find the kind of podcast you might want to listen to. It's pretty cool. Um, some of our podcasts we put on the iTunes store as well. So um, we have a specific um, episode um, podcast series called Betty and the Beast. If you search that up in the search window, Betty and the Beast it'll come up there or you could possibly just search for Jimmy Chef um, and see all the ones we've submitted we've only got one at the moment but there we go it comes up betting the beast this is one of our episodes and you can use this link to subscribe or you can get the individual episodes down here so that's quite cool so yeah you should if you're really getting excited about podcasts check out the directory and get some free content because it's all free so yeah I hope that gives you a basic idea of how to use podcasts on your computer um we'll um have a new video up soon um, just showing how to sync your podcast to your iPhone so we've got an iPhone ready to go here we're going to have another video here just showing how to do that, it's pretty simple and how to enjoy podcasts on your specifically on your iPhone or iPod so yeah, thanks, hope this helps and enjoy Gemma and the world of podcasts, thank you, bye